What is going on, everybody? Mega here with, with, with a new Discord Pi rewrite tutorial. And in, in, in this tutorial, we're, what we're going to be covering is that we're, we're, we're going to be show, covering how to make your bot look, look like it's playing playing a game. And also, we're, we're, we're going to make a message for, for your bot to, to send when, when, when a member enters the server and when a member leaves the server. Now, before we begin, if you haven't already checked out part one of this tutorial series, I highly recommend you check it out. Because if you if you don't have Discord Pi rewrite installed and or like a, a bot created, you're you're not gonna be able to follow the, these these tutorials because you need need those set up as well as you you need at, at least Pi Python three 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 point six and in, in the link in the video link linked in the description I cover all all all, all of that so you can check check that out. So without further ado, let's begin now. In order to test the our message that's gonna send when the when a member enters and leaves the server, we actually need something to to to, to test it with. So so what 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 I do is that I create a, a test spot to for it to enter and just, just so I can like e easily like kick kick the bot at, at, at any time and I don't have to like rely on one of my one of one of one of the members in my server. So so this is a pretty pretty good way to to, to test it out. But that, that that message command we're we're, we're gonna save for the end because it, it, this one is well it, it, this one is the one that I wrote down f first so I'm gonna do it first. <laughs> okay, so so first off we're we're gonna need a couple of import statements to in order to make our bot look like we're playing a game. But first off we're gonna need import asyncio, and then we're also gonna going to to need import random. Now, mm, random is actually going to be what we're actually going to use in, in, in a future tutorial at, at all. So it's a good thing that we're importing it now, so we don't have to import it later. Okay, and so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to create a function. So I'm going to go all the way down at the bottom because for for, for this one to work, it, it needs to be after a async log, 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 log out. And for this one, we're we're actually not going to need need a decorator, which is the event or command, which I named mine client dot event and client dot command. So for for this one, we're actually not not going to need need a decorator, because it's a, a background task. Background task. So async def, and I I like to name it game underscore presence. But you can name it whatever you want. Okay. And as always, uh, so commas. All right. And next, we need to make it so so that the, the bot doesn't do do this function uh, uh, until the the bot is ready. So await client client dot wait until ready. And that's the thing about PyCharm that that once you have the Discord Pi re rewrite installed, it automatically has like all the f the the functions, so so you don't have to like type it out all the way. All right, and we're not gonna need any we're not gonna need any parameters for this. So next, following programming style, we're gonna create spaces. And if you don't know what pro programming style is, it's basically just making your your code look e easy to read, like with 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 spaces and like making it look 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 nice, so other people can 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 read it good. All right, and so I'm gonna create. So I created a variable here called games, and this is actually gonna be the what the bot is gonna show that it's playing. And we're gonna do three different choices, and so we need brackets and then the uh, double colons for for the name of the game and I'm gonna do just a random thing um let me think uh uh what's a I guess this is a game I'll do uh Skyrim for random things so it could be whatever you want oh actually a good practice is to actually make Make the first one your 
your uh, what whatever you're gonna na make your help statement. Currently, our help statement is called help because by default it comes with a mm, bots come with a help statement. But in, in I guess in the next tutorial, I'll I'll show you how to stylize it and like make our own. But for for now, we're just gonna use the the, the, the default one. So dot why dot help for for help. Skyrim and what's another one we can do? Plain rabbit, I guess. Okay, and that 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 will do that. And now we're gonna do a while loop. And what we're gonna do with this while loop is that we're gonna set it so it does does the while loop while the the bot is not turned off. So while not client dot is closed, and we don't need any parameters for this. Now I, I know that sounds like kind of counterproductive. I guess maybe there isn't a function called is not closed so you have to do while not closed it's it's a little confusing but that's how you have to do it all right and now we need a new variable and i'm going to name it status this equals random dot choice and we're going to set it to games All right, and now the next one we need is we need another uh, another uh, await statement. Again, stick to programming statements so, so it's easy to read. Await client dot change presence. Now, just a heads up, a good thing to keep in mind is that Discord Pi already has functions defined already, and so it's a bad idea to name functions and ones that 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 have already been named by Discord Pi, and and you can check out the full full list on on, on the Discord Pi re rewrite doc documentation, which is actually pretty well done. It it can be a bit confusing to to read for beginners, but if you check it out, it, it, it's actually very helpful. So yeah, okay. And so next what we need is is activity and we're going to do discord dot game and another example of like how how mm, di how discord pi has like everything already defined for you and we're going to set that to status all right and now we need to s actually pause the the bot. Well, not completely pause it. Just just pause it so so that it it doesn't do do like each uh each uh choice right right after each other. And so so that there's a little buffer room between. And we're gonna so and to do that we're gonna do await async co dot sleep, and we're gonna set it to sleep for fifteen seconds. Typically, for I like to set it for about sixty seconds, so it's not like so fast that that it changes. But but for this tutorial, I'm gonna set it set it for fifteen seconds, so so it's not that long of a wait. All right, and the last thing we need to do is is make it so that the bot knows that that this oops. We need to make it make it so so that the bot knows that this that this is a background task. And so what we're gonna do is client dot loop dot create task, and we're gonna call the uh, the function that we just created, game presence. All right, why is this like this? Oh yeah, okay. All right, and uh, and I'll do it for this one. And so mm, so let's go go ahead and uh, run it, so you can see that that it works. All right, and if we go to our 
to the Discord, it, you can see that the the YouTube bot is is says that says, says, says it's playing Skyrim. And if we wait a little bit, it should change. Yep, there there we go. Why why not help for 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 help? And that's how you make your your bot look like it's playing the game. So let's turn it off for now. And and then we'll, so next, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a a welcome message and a goodbye message. And to do that, we we need we we need to we in order to make it work, we we actually have to make it make put the command right here after on ready and before log logout. All right, and this is gonna be an an event. Both of them are actually gonna be be events actually. At client dot event, and we don't need parentheses for this. And then we're gonna do async def on underscore member underscore join. And this is an example of a pre predefined uh, function in a Discord Pi that that we're actually gonna be using. And there, the, the, there is a requirement for this one that that the parameter must be member. It has to be member. It can't be an, anything else. Okay. And now we need colons. And then we we're gonna create a, a variable called channel. But you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't have to be channel. But, 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 but I like to, I like to name a channel, so I know what it's for. Equals Discord. Dot dot get and we're going to do member dot guild dot channels and then we're going to do a, a comma we're going to do name equals and make sure that that it doesn't have a space in, in between name and, and equals on on both sides and we're going to do a single quotation and we're going to name it general now something to keep in mind is that this will only work if the server that the bot is in has a channel named general now if the server that the bot is in doesn't have a, a channel named general the the easy fix is to simply make a channel name named name general or if if you if you can't do that and, and you're gonna open source your bot, then to then just simply like add like a little like mm, like text document or something explaining like the the different commands on, on, on the custom commands and like explain that that in mm, that you can easily go go into the fun function and to to make it so so that the that the serv that the bot sends it to change the, the channel that the bot sends the message in to just change uh this this right here to the name of the channel you want the 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 bot send to send the message in. Okay, and now that that's done, we need a uh, await channel dot send, and we're gonna use a special parameter here. We're we're gonna use the double quotations we used before, but instead we're, we're gonna put an f in front of it. For to, so 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 we can format it, uh, format it a, a special way, and and this is the message that that we want the bot to send. So I'm gonna do welcome to the, and then I'm gonna do do cur curly braces, and I'm gonna do member dot guild dot name. What this is gonna do is it's gonna in place of member dot name, it's gonna put put the name 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 of the server, and so it does, so so it doesn't look weird. We're gonna put Discord server, and then the last thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna mention the user. So we're gonna do a comma, and then we're gonna do quotation marks again, and then we're gonna go member dot mention, and that's gonna do it for this one. And 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 now we need a, another event called at client dot event. Again, no no parentheses needed. 
and we're going to do, oh, I actually made a mistake right here. There we go. Async def on member remove. And again, member. And th this one is going to be the exact same thing. Except it's going to be a little bit different. So we don't need to copy to type all this. So we're just going to just. Why isn't it doing? Oh, I see. There we go. Sorry, my my uh, key and keyboard, my shift is a little broken. So sometimes well, it doesn't de detect that I'm holding on down to shift. There we go. And we're going to change the message. So it, it instead, it says curly braces member dot name. has left the server. Okay, and that's gonna do it. And so now we can run the bot. Okay. And so now I'm gonna go go to my dis my Discord app. I'm gonna select my uh my my test bot. Gonna go to go to OAuth two select bot and select it, then go to right click and go go to go to Discord app. And it's gonna open a new tab, it's gonna ask me to log in. As always. And I'm gonna select Ramani bot server, which is the the, the my the bot server for, for, for my bot. I am not a robot. And then it's gonna send it. And then if we go to Discord, as you can see, it sent the message. Well, welcome to the Romani bot, bot, bot server, Discord server at, at test, test command. And I know it looks a little weird and you can stylize it how, how, however you want, but, but that's how I do it. And as you can see, the, the bot is playing the rabbit right now. And so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to kick t test command. So you can see, see the the message that it sends and it says test command has left the server. There we go. And that's going to pretty much do it for this, for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll cover some more messages and, and some like actual commands pro probably. So yeah, this has been mega and I will see you again next time.